Tsunami Animal People's Alliance, Mount Davinia Beach, day three of filming. Today is the World in Alliance today. We have the American ambassador coming to join us as a chief guest today. One that got away. We'll have you again later. It's Mount Lavinia Hotel. Mount Lavinia has been a tourist destination now for many years. Like most places in the island, this has uh, gone through some difficult times during the war period. Mount Lavinia area is now developing now as a tourist destination. Only a stone's throw from uh, the city of Colombo. It has many, many bars and restaurants, hotels, except along the beach. The main hotel is Mount Lavinia Hotel, where we are holding the event. It was the old governor's, uh, British governor's uh, residence in old colonial times. The Tapper team now going with the butterfly nets now to uh, find some more animals for vaccination and neutral. With the backdrop of Colombo City. So Tsunami Animal People's Alliance also do cats. But because cats are very difficult to catch, what we do is we ask the owners to bring them in or wherever possible we will try and take them. Lots of wagtails. Dr. Roshan, the field clinic manager for Tapa. Running into the net. That's an easy way. All going for new to vaccination at the Tapa field clinic. And she's pregnant. So this one is pregnant, so this one cannot be taken. So you can see that the houses, uh, like the shanty towns, are just built right next to the railway tracks. You've seen how close the trains come. So we're going inside the houses. Going inside the houses and taking their dogs for new to vaccinating. See how close that is to the railway tracks there, with the trains going past. <laughs> so it's a local resident that's brought um, a stray road cat in for surgery. Got some beautiful markings on it. You can see the head. 
is beautiful. Hello. <laughs> So cats are now being prepared now for surgery. Are you a famous film star? Are you going to be on YouTube? So it's actually been picked up from the road today. From today, the road? No, no they have picked up from the road uh, and now... Now it's got a home, them, so yeah. it's now got a home, yeah? Timmy Mai Kagano. Banda 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 Yes, I grew up with um, a wide-ranging assortment. As, a, as kids, we always had at a minimum of a bird, a cat, and a dog. <laughs> and uh, sometimes chickens and ducks and hamsters and you name it. Um, and um, since I've uh, joined the State Department, uh, I... Uh, My first posting was Karachi, Pakistan, and uh, I hadn't been there two weeks when I had adopted a dog, so I, I have three now. Uh, so I just uh, and I try to support animal welfare wherever I can. So and this is your um, what are these? These are just uh, so I'll just explain the yeah. about the Taku program. The Taku program uh, has uh, started after the threat of the tsunami. And uh, since uh, 2005, we've uh -huh. uh, vaccinated and moved to 35,000 animals in Sri Lanka. So a very uh, large undertaking. Now, uh, just just dogs or dogs and cats? And cats. Yeah. Okay. So with with the uh, with the dogs, they would take stray dogs. Uh, with cats, they're very difficult to catch. Yeah. You don't see that many so, in Sri Lanka. Yeah. So normally, what would happen? We ask the uh, community uh, to bring in the cats, and then we would move them back to the Okay. So, okay. Um, these are all taken in Sri Lanka then? Yeah, all the education programs. We have to okay. teach about the animal welfare. In the schools, with yeah, kids. Okay. And with that, we have the kindergarten programs also, where we meet the small kids okay. and do some painting, drama, and singing, okay. to give them some idea about the animals and the yeah. uh, care. Yeah. So yeah. at the same time, uh, we do the uh, sterilization and vaccination for okay. uh, dogs and cats. Right. And recently, we work in more affected areas working with the large animals during the flood season. Yeah. At the same time, we are going to be uh, war zone with all the animals. Do you, but I noticed some of the um, animal welfare organizations in Sri Lanka focus on um, uh, spaying the female dogs, and they don't uh, do make an effort, I think, to neuter the male dogs. Do you? No, we do both. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I guess I don't understand the, the yeah. uh, science Because definitely science we have to do it. the males also because that's the most important thing when you are controlling the rabies because we have to do both uh, males and females and in both cat and Okay, so you, you neuter both. And also by neutering their male dogs, you know, so they're calming them down. So when they're in, so no, I see there, that's so. my thought as well, but I think some of the organizations feel yeah. that if you don't have unlimited resources, it's yeah. more effective to focus on yeah, the females, although so that's a more difficult operation, isn't it? Yeah, that's with the government program. Yeah, they that's have the government program. Yeah, yeah, so, so they, they focus on that. And when you neuter and spay, is there after operation care? I mean, yeah, you we, have to keep yeah, the females. We, yeah, we keep them uh, till they fully recover because okay. we use a special technique where we use all the absorbers with the materials and we do the whole surgery in a aseptic So condition. the stitches are absorbed? Yeah. They, ah, all right, yeah, okay, all right. And uh, all the stitches are under the skin. You can't see even ah, the single stitches okay, right. outside. Do you have a dog? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, even the, and we have about uh, seven, eight dogs. Oh, that's good. Them. All right. And they're all spayed and neutered? All right, all right. Very good. They're okay. partly of our single. They do our single day. Yeah. <laughs> but they're friendly, right? Yeah. English translation. Thank you. 
So this is uh, the education that is uh, handed out to the school children. And this is about Kappa. Okay. So we start, recently started working in the war zone because they didn't get this type of service for the last 30 yeah. years. And the, most of the people are they are restarting their life from the beginning. Okay. So, Last time we were in Baunia and two months before we were in Chatna with the help of Sri Lanka Navy. Mm -hmm. So they helped us a lot to move one island to the other. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Moved. Now these stitches will disappear? Yeah, these are absorbable stitches. Okay. Uh, these are the most expensive uh, I mean, thing yeah. when we do the surgery. Okay. So they are. So the like, male dogs recover pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay. And this is Dr. Manjula and this is Dr. Damuta. And this is Dr. Dinesh, and we have uh, four veterinary surgeons, and three veterinary nurses, and three dog handlers, and the driver. The moon is really, really small. It's good to do it in an ambulance. We always do the technology, so I told them when they came up with this idea, they agreed, and they told them. This also, this week, tomorrow is they forward uh, to some uh, so camp, like so I'm just coinciding with that as well, okay. cleaning, uh, treating these dogs and the surrounding. Yeah. So this is a little girl. She's been early age neutered by Tapper today and she'll be just soon going home with her two brothers and sisters. Scratching well. None the wiser of what's happened today, are you? So now it's just doing a release from day number three surgery. He says, come on, out you come. There you go. Go find his way back home. Kiri den na paake belly operation kalla ne diye ne. Ya me kolla hura na kote kolla ya ke me hunga na. Me kolla na kiri den na. Me kolla na kiri na. Kiri den 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 na. Kiri I get bad body. My hunda abu tuhale. I am leva kanana. Belly ke. Ya to operation kalla thi. Anne leva kanan dinna tu ko home. Tu tak paake kanan. Mona ya prasne atina ar kolay dunne. Ek telephone number tu online kato. Mr. Mummy, Mummy's also had an operation today. All gone safe in their home. Ah, yeah, tell me I can. Go, all going home. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> Off they go home.